Hi everybody, welcome to the TV Minute for March 14, 2014. And if I sound a little tired, it's because this is my third time recording because the last two were off by maybe two seconds from the video to audio, 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 audio. So that's, it's a little aggravating and I'm a little bit tired, but whatever. So, this is what we've been reading since the last time I did the TV Minute. The Afterlife with Archie. Um, I've spoken to a couple people and their automatic response is, well, it's not like, you know, the original. And I totally get that. But that's what makes it so unique and awesome is because um, you're just seeing the characters in a new, different light. And it's horror, it's gore, it's, it's sad, it's heartbreaking, but it's intense and it's terrifying. It's beautiful, and if you've never read Archie before, this is a really interesting and cool jumping point. And if you're kind of uh, terrified to read it, if you are, you know, a, an Archie fan, don't be. It's just a different storytelling, and um, I really would highly recommend it and suggest it because the art is beautiful and the story, t the storytelling is just top notch. So go check it out. And yes, I've been reading this one too. Because you gotta love the cover art. Uh, what else? Uh, she Hulk. Uh, I'm in love with the cover art. It's up there with uh, Mayhew when he was doing She Hulk, and the writing and storytelling is has a flavor of what uh, Dan Slott did. Uh, the art itself too is is really great. If you really loved the uh, Dan Slott run and Bobbio run, you will enjoy this one too. So I highly recommend it. Go check it out. And uh, this one, Satellite Sam. Um, been reading it too. Uh, just started, so I can't tell you any more about that right now. But I will. And right now I know this one uh, Mike picked up. So check it out. Satellite Sam. Now, uh, the last time we recorded, it was brief. But uh, one of the things that made uh, that whole time when it was snowing really wonderful was that we've got some beautiful original art from DMAR. That is Cthulhu Brown. Uh, we got this and stickers in the mail. And I love stickers. Where are you? There you are. The rooster and Cthulhu Brown. Love stickers. So I'm so happy with these. Thank you, Dimar, from both me and Mike. And what else? Oh, here in Portland going on right now. Sad to, sad to say I missed already a few of the movies that I really wanted to see. But um, there is one this Saturday that I'm not going to miss. So the, um, the Northwest Film Center. The whole month is nothing but Ghibli movies, Miyazaki films. They are gorgeous. And you have not seen them until you've seen them on the big screen. So I highly recommend it. Uh, pretty much good for all ages, you know? And um, definitely not ones to miss. Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke. I know myself, I am looking forward to Only Yesterday. And um, ooh, Porco Rosso. So yes, uh, go ch check it out. I will leave a link at the bottom of, you know, this video. So you can find out which ones you'd like to see. What else? Um... Also, what we've been watching, True Detective. I wasn't into it at first, and I never thought I could find him attractive, but my McConaughey sold me on it, and so the eye candy is nice, but the storytelling is fantastic, it's creepy, it's ugh, disgusting. But it's great, and I love a good mystery. And uh, it's on HBO, and so if you've never seen it before, definitely go check it out. And um, they just showed the last episode; it was really good. The ending was beautiful, and um, looking forward to the next season. Now, keep in mind they're not going to bring them back because um, the way they're the way they're setting it up is um, they're just going to bring on new detectives. So don't think that they died. Or didn't die but I'm not gonna tell you that just go check it out for yourself also Cosmos on Fox so happy that this is back 
Um, the only way that this could be more awesome is if it was playing at over at um, the um, the C the science the Museum of Science and Industry over in Chicago on the big screen, the IMAX theater. That's the only way that this could get better. So please go do that. That that would be awesome. But yes, it's beautiful. It's it's great for the imagination. I, I'm so happy that they have animation in it. Also, it it's fantastic. Go check it out. It's on Fox Cosmos. What else? Um, Cayman Rider, which is if you uh, love Power Rangers, Mike found this, so I'm really happy about it. It's it's quirky. It's it's cute. Definitely check it out. Um, again, I will leave a little trailer for you to go check it out for yourself. And also, we just saw the Veronica Mars movie last night. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I know one of you out there, Dennis, says that you've never seen the show before. This is a great way to actually just, you can jump into this. Catch the movie. You like it. Go watch the, the series. And um, it's not one to miss. The truck scene scared the hell out of me. But it was great. And definitely go check it out while it's in theaters because eh, you of course you can rent it, but it's always bigger on the be, be, better on the bigger screen. So go check it out. Uh what else? Oh, what we've been playing. Uh The Last of Us Left Behind. It was a really good challenge. Um a really great way to see what happened during one part of that video uh, of the video game section that you didn't see before. Uh, heartbreaking but fun and it also had like a mini game feel to it so if you're kind of iffy about it shell out the money it's worth it it's fun and it was a really good encore um, and a way to say goodbye if um, you're not you know you played the game it's a really great end piece I loved it also The Wolf Among Us even if you've never read the comics which you should but even if you've never read them the artwork is beautiful, the gameplay is great, it's a lot of fun, and uh, again, it's up in that mystery uh, noir feel, which I love because I love good mystery. Definitely go check it out, it's worth the money. And so is The Walking Dead made by the same people, uh, episode two, no, season two, episode two, with Little Clementine. Man, if you love the first episode, it just keeps getting better. Um, don't want to give too much away, but the bridge scene is really... Ugh. And and I know what choice I made. Depend, you know, when you play it and you see the bridge scene, I know what decision I made, and I'm I'm thankful I did. But um, it's really good. Three is just going to be intense, but definitely go check it out. It's totally worth it. All right. Um, two things to uh, mention. A peace of mind got into the comics issue of the Chicago Reader. Thank you. I'm really happy about this. I've left a few issues over at Cosmic Monkey on Sandy, so if they're still there, grab yourself a copy. And I don't want to give it away because I want you to go to the website to check out the full piece, but there it is. That's all I will say. Go check out the link, read it, leave your comments. And yes, that is my mom who left the first comment. And uh, also another thing is... I also found out a piece of mine is going to be at the Museum of Latin American Art in California. It's for Freedom Mania. This is a big thing for me too, as as with the reader as well. So if you're, it starts this weekend. If you can make it and you see my piece, take a picture, share it with me. I'll be your friend. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And that's it. Um, Lots to read, lots to see, lots to play and do. Go do it. The weather's getting better. Yay. And also, um, before I forget, want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Please be safe out there if you're going to drink and party. Just be safe. And uh, if you're in Chicago, don't forget to check out uh, the beautiful water, all green and sparkly. All right, and that's it. So everybody have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Be safe.